Okay, I'm going to try to one-shot this installing new pipe, or not new pipe X, that's a different video. This is sponsor block for Firefox Nightly. Now this only works for Firefox Nightly because Firefox Nightly is the only one that allows you to manually add any browser extension or add-on. So first, start with Firefox Nightly. I don't think it will work with regular Firefox. So what we want to do is, once you start it up, you'll go to settings, which I don't see settings down in here, but go down to settings, scroll down to the bottom about Firefox, and click this link three times. Now the part that was confusing for me was the step after this. Now that we have this debugging menu, we have a custom add-on selection here. Now, this is not a random thing you can come up with. This is assigned when you create the plugin collection. So for example, this one's going to be called block. And we'll get this number here in a second. So once we log in, we'll go to add-ons. And what we're going to do is log in. And from what I understand, this only works for authenticated access. There probably is a way to push plugins manually in a, in a different way. But we're not going to go through that, uh, that method. But this is just doing it through the phone without doing ADB or anything like that. So you have to have a login for that, for your account. So you you're logged in here, whatever. Once the drop down here, it says view my collections. And you'll see here, I already have one in here. Now it's easy to create a collection. I won't go through those steps, but I'll show you the add-ons for this collection. So the way this works is that when once you're in developer mode or whatever, you can manually pick what any actual plugin that you want. So for here I have sponsor block and foxy proxy uBlock origin and privacy badger. I have all of these selected. But the part that you need to remember is going to edit this collection and you'll get this number when you first start um when you first start the app or when you first start the collection. It'll give you this randomly generated pseudo randomly generated ID here. That's the number you need to put in. That's what got confusing for me. So once we had that number, we'll scroll back down to the bottom here and plug that number in. I copied it to the clipboard. We got it plugged in here, click okay. It's gonna quit out the application automatically for you. And I think automatically restart it for you too. Let's see, it restarts it for you. Now in add-ons, now you've got a list of custom plugins for whichever apps you want. Now there's not guaranteed they're going to work, but now you had the list of all of the add-ons that you added in. Now you still have to install them. That's another step that I didn't really realize, obviously. Um, now that you've added it, you can add it to your custom collection. You can actually add it to the browser. So we're going to go ahead and add in all these real quick. Fox proxy I use with an SSH client to tunnel my traffic over my SSH server. So we'll just go ahead and show you that real quick too. Now that we have manually set up a custom add-ons, we've we've added actually installed those add-ons now that we have some settings here for sponsor block we can go in here and click auto skip on everything whatever i think these are the two big categories auto skip auto skip to start now I haven't really played with all these. This is basically user submitted stuff. So that's 
quite interesting. If you can contribute, go for it. Now that we have sponsor blocks set up, we're good to go there. To actually configure the add-on, if you just click add-ons in here, you'll have the drop-down of everything that's actually installed. If you're inside add-ons, inside of settings, you can also get to it from here too, under settings. But the easiest way to do it is once you launch the browser, click that little arrow on add-ons, and you'll see the drop selection here. And for example, we're going to configure Fox Proxy. We go to our options, add, we're going to call this 127.0.0.1, copy that guy, and that's going to be a SOX proxy, we're going to paste this local IP. We're tunneling our traffic locally over port 222. And we're going to save and now we have it in the list here. It's actually not on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and drop off the wireless here to kind of show you and kind of prove that this in theory should work. So right now Fox Proxy is disabled. We're going to go enable it. Then we're going to open up our tunnel here. Manage connections, forwards. We have our tunnel established. Now, this will sort of crash in the background. It seems like um, some of these things will automatically kill in the background if you're not paying attention. So sometimes if the tunnel kind of collapses, I know that that I need to reconnect my tunnel. So here we go. We're on the cellular network. We're not on the wireless and I'm connected to my home, home network. So we'll go ahead and show you, see it's, it's got the local proxy that's set up. Now we'll go to YouTube. And this is what sponsor block will look like. So let me turn the wireless back on here. Are we trying or do we give up? We got YouTube. So for example, we can pick any of these super annoying, uh, Super annoying ads here. Gonna dismiss and so load. Donate ten thousand. There's a lot of a bunch of these. And Today, when you know it's you working, you will see a um it's not on all the videos, of course, unless it's been submitted. You'll see the bars at the bottom here. So we have a green and a purple right at the last few seconds here. So it's the idea is not only does it skip ads, it also skips the in live ads or sponsor stuff. And this is all user submitted. You can actually, I think it's like a long hold. There's actually a way to tag them in here manually. If you want to submit, um, if you want to submit your own skipping. So see, it skipped over the thing there and this is all good to go. So now you have Firefox with Privacy Badger, well, proxy settings, and ad blocking all inside of Android. And you are good to go.